summer finally showed up in LA. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple days since we left off on the Bean Project, and that is because I feel like life just kind of caught up with me and I got so sick over the weekend. I just needed a couple days to rest, but I am feeling much better now. I at least have a voice now. So we've got a beam sitting over there and I hate having a project halfway done sitting in my apartment. It drives me so insane and it just like feels like it's calling to me constantly. So I am going to jump right back into this project because we were so close. We just had to add that final beam, but we have some electrical and wiring to do for those pendant lights. So I'm really excited to just jump back into this and get this project finished because it's turning out so well. I love the way this project is coming along. All right, so before we get started, I want to see if my research is gonna be correct. I bought a couple of these replacement lamp cords that I'm going to connect to my hardwired lights that are gonna be in the beam, but I just wanna double check that all my connections are right before I put the beam up there and then all the cord is stuck up there and there's nothing I can do about it. So um, I have this old light fixture. This was in the kitchen um, when I first moved in and I've kept all of the original lighting obviously because when I move, this is what they're getting. They're not getting my new lights, obviously. Um, so I wanna connect this lamp cord to this hardwire light. The black is your hot, the white is your neutral. One side is going to be ribbed as you can see. That's your neutral side, and one side is smooth. And that's your hot side. Make sure they're secure. All right, huzzah. Now, let's plug her in, and fingers crossed, this should light up. So I have the center, edge of the bed, pendant. Center, edge of the bed, pendant. put this up here let me show you what I've got going on with this electrical so I have taped the uh, lamp cords to the outside just so they stay outside and let me flip this over I've also taped the extension cord which needs to stay through this hole out so it stays out I'll flip it on the inside here so the lamp cords coming in here in here and both of them are just connected to this one outlet right here, which easy peasy. So everything, and there's plenty of extra room so I can pull um, if need be the extra wire 
or I could tuck more away, but that's how everything's gonna look. Okay, so the issue I had on this one was a really stupid one. I drilled these too close to the ceiling so I couldn't get my screw in and I was lifting it up and I couldn't get the screw direction to change while it was torquing it. So I had to bring it back down and reposition that screw. Um, and that's a bunch of my blood on the ceiling, but it's up. Um, I'm gonna put a couple more because everything's at an angle right now. I'm gonna put a couple more lowers just so they go straight into the wood, but it's up. <sighs> and all the electrical stayed in place, so I'm counting it as a win. Oh, and I didn't scratch up any of the wall. I did get a bunch of my sweat on it, so um, hopefully that just dries and doesn't affect it. Should be fine. Oh. <sighs> Like I said in the last video, don't be stubborn. Get a friend to help you. So the beams are up and they look so good. I'm really happy with the way they turned out. I would stop here, honestly, because I love the way they look right now and I kind of like the sharp lines of them just running into the wall. But the crown molding has a couple practical purposes as well as aesthetics. First, I've wired these lights that are gonna be hanging on either side of the bed as a plug-in and not hardwire because I live in a rental and I'm not gonna open up walls to try to hardwire new lights that are gonna go into the ceiling. So the plug-in has to get plugged in and the only place in the room to drop a cord from the ceiling to the floor without it being noticed, obviously, is going to be in the fireplace wall that we created. The fireplace wall just happens to be on the opposite side of the room. So that means I have to run an extension cord to plug in these lights all the way to the other side of the room. Crown molding is going to hide that extension cord, obviously. The other practical thing about the crown molding is that it's going to wrap around the entire fireplace wall as well as the actual walls. So it's just going to tie this fireplace wall a little bit more in so it doesn't look like it's a thing that I just built out from the wall. It's gonna look like it's more a cohesive part of the wall. As well as aesthetically, it's just gonna add a little bit extra to the room, the crown molding. So right now I'm going to measure for all the crown molding and then I'm gonna go pick it up really quickly. measurements now back to our favorite place the hardware store summer finally showed up in LA
gonna take a quick break from this project and chop all of this off. I'm so over it and it's summer. <sighs> ground molding is up. Obviously I have a lot of detail work. I gotta get up there and fill all the holes and caulk it and stuff like that. But it is up and it is the quickest way to find out that your room, your building is not square at all. But it is done and I think I'm just gonna clean up now because I think my lights just got delivered and I really want to put those up. project still has a little ways to go. Obviously I need to caulk and fill all the holes in the crown molding and obviously paint, but I still have to paint the rest of the walls and I want to strip these doors when I do the closet makeover. So we still have some major projects to do in this room, but it is coming together so well and I absolutely love how these lights look against this green wall. Everything that I've had in my head for months and years is suddenly coming to life and it's really exciting. Can't wait to keep going. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.